Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Football View. If you're new here, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm here with um a very good friend of mine, Milos, and we'll talk about the UEFA Champions League final. We're we'll predicting the giving players to watch and we're talking about everything concerning that game. And lastly, we'll give our predictions. Thanks for joining me, Milos. Thank you very much for firstly for inviting me to this beautiful crowd. I want to say uh, hello to everyone uh, and personal thank to you, Aleto, for uh, calling me and to doing uh, this show together. I really, it really, I really appreciate it very much and I'm very glad to be here, guys. So, uh, yeah. bear with us. Welcome. So, we've seen Dortmund, um, they played very well against PSG in the semi finals to get to the finals, and everyone is expecting them to go out and, you know, beat Real Madrid make some upsets and Real Madrid are actually looking to win another UEFA Champions League. Carlo Ancelotti said he's looking to win another Champions League with Real Madrid. How do you think that game will turn out? What what are you expecting in that game? Uh, well, firstly, uh, I think pretty much not just me, but overall the world uh, just did not expect Dortmund to be here, firstly. Uh, especially to win two games against PSG. Yes, we know that PSG is not like the force that it was be that it was uh, like with P with Neymar, Messi, and all, all of that. They had a lot of uh, players uh, going out, you know, and new coming in, new coach. So everyone was like really uh, questioning how good PSG is. Uh, and after that, they had maybe some a little bit of luck against Barcelona. But again, Barcelona is still not so strong as it was the years before. So really, we cannot judge on how actually good all of these teams are, you know, because all of them are kind of shaky. They can play very good one game and then the next game, they are like just completely different team. So that's why this game, because of that, is very hard predict, to predict, especially since it's just one game. You know, you don't have uh, an, uh, another 90 minutes to go after. You just have this and that's all. So that's why, and especially whenever I see... Uh, people all, all, everywhere going all out on one team, I always expect other team to perform, you know, because all the pressure is out of them. You know, they are going to go obviously all for the finals because you know everything what is at stake. But the problem here is, of course, the Real Madrid is always there, the confidence, the players. For me, they have the best players in the world. Even Manchester City don't have this, mm -hmm. this uh, potential that they Real Madrid has. And I can see this game very, very close. I don't expect crazy goals, but because I think Dortmund gonna make a lot of fouls to 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 stop the game. You know, I don't think they wanna play counter counter attack with these kind yeah. of players. You know, so I see this game very cagey, very sloppy. If if I can say. Uh, maybe you can go like all out in five minutes. Someone scores a goal and then, you know, all the taxi tactics go out of the window. But if we see like if games, uh, if game starts like regularly, I can see this game very boring at the beginning. And maybe when we get to the second half and after we can maybe see something crazy when players starting to, you know, getting tired, then you get some players new in. Maybe I think Ancelotti going to start like that. Something like, to go with a strong uh, players at start with a lot of contact, you know, and mm -hmm. then after to put a players that they, that they, they, they can run because they have bigger, bigger substitution, you know, bigger players to go from the bench and then maybe to kill them later. I Maybe something like this I expect from Real Madrid. And I think Dortmund just going to try to counter whenever they have a ball to try to use that ball uh, with a long pass or with a, like a fast pass or round. And that, that's how I see the game going. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is uh, basically how, how you see it. I mean, I don't know how is your perspective about uh, this game. Well, I agree with you. It's going to be a very, very close game. Thanks for your, your comments, because I agree with your assessment. I feel that it's going to be very difficult for both teams, and Real Madrid will not want to attack because they know Dortmund are very, very good with the counter-attack and it could cause harm if Real Madrid attacks. So I think Real Madrid will sit back and understand how those men are playing very well in a, playing in the game and will decide to say, okay, should we use Vinicius Jr. to cause harm on the right-hand side to cross the ball into the box? Or do we use the brilliance of the wing-backs, the left-back and the right-back to cross the ball? Or 
create chances or control the midfield. I think the first 20 minutes of the game will decide how the the uh, next minutes of the game continues because it's going to be a very cagey game. Dortmund want to win, Real Madrid want to win. So it's going to be very, very um, difficult for both teams. But I'm also feeling that it's going to be a very close, close call. It's not going to be an open game with a lot of goals. I'm not expecting that. So with that uh, being said, I would like to know which players should we watch out for from Dortmund and which players should we watch out for um, Real Madrid? Well, for me, I, I think if you want to say about which players you should watch out from Real Madrid, you can say literally everyone. <laughs> I don't think any player in Real Madrid you should like go, no, he's not that good, you just can let him go. You know, I mean, I really don't see like literally every player can do crazy stuff uh so even Rüdiger with some header you know you, you any yes, player yes, yes, have some specific good. stuff yeah yeah every literally you have Carvajal cross the famous you know yeah. always Carvajal cross 90 minute crazy stuff you know you have Modric cross with so much experience with so much uh confidence in them you know then you have the speed the wings with Vinicius Rodrigo with now the Bellingham, the new addition, you know, literally every single player is a threat for a Dortmund. And for on the Dortmund side, you have a kind of mix of old players like Royce, mm -hmm. you know, like a combination of uh, speed at Ayami, you know, and stuff like that. So for me, at Ayami is kind of maybe the biggest threat because of his speed, you know, because I can see uh, Real Madrid like holding the possession and then they lose the ball and Andiabi running on the side, you know, when the fast ball like uh, in front and a crazy stuff can happen there. So I think that is maybe the biggest threat and maybe also the headers because we saw in the PSG game, like Dortmund did not have in the second game, they don't they did not have any chance. And then they score with a with a header from a yeah. Uh, I can can't remember who scored the goal, but it was a header, you know. Humels, Humels. Only one chance. So. Humels, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, I think those are the kind of the, the Dortmund chances that they, they want. So the 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 fouls and the long corner, something like that. So they want to score goals from the headers and with those uh, balls to to the wings to the Adeyemi. And I think Real Madrid have a lot of let's say a lot of more weapons. Let's say like that. A lot of more uh, addition to to score and stuff like that, but that is also a bad side for them because they can try to do everything and not to to focus on one thing, and then they can start uh, you know losing the ball and to do some crazy stuff because of that overconfidence that that, that then after can cost them uh, you know the game because I think Dortmund if Dortmund managed to score first somehow wow. I think it's gonna be very 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 hard for Real Madrid. Yes, I think they're going to go agree. park the bus, literally. Yeah, they, it's going to be literally as a PSG game. Yes. Score a goal, everyone back, you know, and that's going to be very hard. But on the bright side, I think PSG, if you remember, they had like six or seven crossbars, something like that, crazy, like how much. And I think mm -hmm. Real Madrid would definitely score at least two goals if they had the same chances. I, I don't think there's... Uh, that uh, bad effective, you know. I think they're more, more effective with uh, chances uh, like yeah. that. So we're going to see how that uh, happens. But as I said, if Dortmund score first, it's going to be very, very hard for Real Madrid because they're going to park the bus 100%. There's going to be a lot of fouls. <laughs> every sec, every game, lo uh, long ball, whatever, going to be pulling, you know. And uh, I don't expect, obviously, red cards because it's a final and the the the... The how I I just forgot the the name of the the referees. Yeah, the referees. I don't think referees gonna would would like to give a red card in the finals. You know you. Oh, no, so no, no, I no. think they are gonna always always gonna be something of fouls between yellow and red. You know the orange card if you wanna say like that. I think they got they gonna do stuff like that if they needed. You know because uh, you know you have to give everything here and uh, that's how I see. Uh, uh, the, the 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 game evolving, but how you what you think the most uh, players are the, the the most danger on the both sides? I mean, uh, yeah, the I agree. Then the Real Madrid. I agree. I agree. I feel uh, it's going to be very interesting. Um, people are talking about Vinicius. If you see the way, Bayern, I'm a Bayern fan. You see the way uh, Vinicius play against Kimmich. 
it was too good and uh, it was very difficult to stop Kimmich. So anyone that's playing uh, Vinicius Wing should be very careful because he's very good. Any mistake, you cause a penalty and Real Madrid will get the win. So I feel they are going to put two players on Vinicius Jr. They'll put the right back and someone else, maybe from the midfield, will be staying at the right back to help with Vinicius Jr. And they'll make sure that uh, they stop Madrid from entering the box. So the players will be around the box to, you know, the low block to stop the players from putting the ball into the box. It's going to be very, very um, interesting to see. Then as for um, Dortmund, they are very good with counter-attack because Jadon Sancho is very fast. Paul Krug is very fast. Karim Adeyemi is very fast. So when they get the ball and they start running, it's going to be very, very interesting to see. And Real Madrid, um, Courtois is going to be in post. So um, they have a very good experienced goalkeeper who has been in several U UEFA Champions League finals. So they expect his experience to also count. It's going to be interesting. Then as for um, the defense, as you said, Rudiger can score set pieces because um, once the ball is going to the box, Rudiger can score um, um, Cavallo and whoever is playing the left back that can get the crosses in. Also have Rodrigo. Rodrigo can, you know, score from any angle. He can score from the right. He can score from the left. He can score from everywhere. So those are the players I feel we should also look at, look out for. Then as for the midfield battle, I'm expecting Tony Cruz and uh, Kamavinga to run the midfield because they are very good at doing that. I think the um, Dortmund midfield won't be at the midfield per se. They'll be back. The midfield will be blocking the defense to give them more cover because uh, they obviously know that Real Madrid are very good. But it's going to be very, very difficult for Real Madrid. Like you said, if Dortmund scores first, it's going to be tricky because when Dortmund scores first, Real Madrid will come to attack. Dortmund will want to hit with the counter attack to you know extend their lead. If they score two goals, I think it's it's game over because Real Madrid will be very very um pressurized and they'll start making mistakes. So um to end because I don't want this to be very long to end this, I would like to know your predictions. Who do you think will win and what will be your scoreline? Oof, I don't want to be a boring. But <laughs> I had like three 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 results or or correct scores I had in my mind. Uh, and obviously I have to pick one. Okay. So I'm gonna say Z one zero Real Madrid just because this Real Madrid is so experienced, so strong, so confident. Like it's not just that they won the Champions League 14 times, it's how they win it. You know, every time yes. they come back, they die, they come back, they die. <laughs> that amount of uh, that amount of uh, you know, uh, giving strength in your heads, you know, that's the even most important, you know, in every every profession, you know, when you have a strong head, like uh, mentally, you can overpower even a stronger opponent, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I think when you combine that with their physicality and what they can do on the pitch, that's just for me too strong, you know. So that's why it's the simple. I know I'm boring with these predictions <laughs> and uh, don't judge me, guys. So, but I just have to go with the logic. And that's how I see it. Maybe even Dortmund gonna win. You never know. But this is just how I see one zero. Uh, and first half, first half for me is gonna be a draw. And then uh, maybe in the second half they're gonna score. Or maybe we're gonna go over time. But I think one zero first half uh, zero zero and uh, the second half uh, Real Madrid win. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. I think uh, me personally, I think the final won't uh, be that boring as you think. I think it's going to be two one victory for Madrid. I'm expecting um, Madrid to score first and uh, Dortmund to score 1-1. Then uh, maybe late in the game, Madrid to make it 2-1 and win the game. That's my prediction. I feel Madrid will be very, very good for this. I think they are favorites and I, I feel that they should win Dortmund. We saw how PSG struggled against Dortmund. I, I feel PSG had the players, but they didn't have the belief and experience to beat Dortmund. That was why all their shots were hitting the bar. They were missing so many chances and all that. But I feel Madrid, they have the belief, they have the players, and they can score goals. So I feel they are going to beat um, Dortmund. So I'm going for a 2-1 victory for Dortmund. So uh, so that's basically what this video is about. I'll be doing more videos with my friend here, Milos. Milos, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. And I hope our predictions doesn't go to waste because it can happen that you <laughs> see first half 3-0, first half 2-0, first half 3-0, and several score lines so I, I just hope one of us gets it right <laughs> yeah i i, I want to say again very i'm very thankful for uh inviting me for this no problem uh, it was a pleasure it was a pleasure for me to to speak with you man 
Uh, I hope we don't disappoint the crowd here. And I am really looking forward to, for our future videos, man. Uh, with Thanks, viewers Jeremy. and Thank everything you, coming up. So, yeah. And don't forget, guys, to to like and share and subscribe. Yeah, to and my also guy subscribe to me. Go to the channel and subscribe to him. He gives prediction on European football. We, have, we, me and Milos, we are going to do more videos on the upcoming years. So go to Milos' channel and subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys uh, very much. It's gonna probably gonna be in the in in the below in yeah, the comment okay. section. Uh, my also my my channel, okay. but we mostly gonna do on the Electro channel everything. But anyways, uh, again, thank you very much and all for all the crowd and everyone. So see you again, guys. I guess. Thank you very much. Uh, Have a wonderful future. night, Milos. Thank you, you too, man, and everyone else.